Uh, welcome to a new video. Uh, this time around it's about what I talked uh, last week. I showed you the rumors about the Mate 40 series and I talk a little bit about the Mate 40 Pro. And this time around we want to take a look at renders that appeared that are from OnLeaks and uh, those are render famous renderers that um, leak the final render of smartphones usually and in this case they showcase the new newest render of the Mate 40 Pro and uh, let's take a look at this. So here we can see the uh, website with some of the news the first look at the Mate 40 and Mate 40 Pro and you can see one big thing as the major image here is the very high and big camera bump at the back. And what we can see here is basically two big camera lenses here, here, here and this looks like a periscope camera lens. So we will see probably in the Mate 40 Pro an hybrid, uh, not a hybrid, but a periscope zoom lens which will be at least five times zoom. I cannot imagine it being ten times but five times is pretty cool already and we will see big two big cameras i would say we will see either an um, ryyb 40 megapixel cine lens camera and an ryyb maybe even 100 megapixel main uh, camera sensor wide angle and uh, the cine lens of course ultra wide angle a little bit slightly uh, wider angle and we will see uh, then interestingly enough probably another three times zoom eventually normal zoom camera and then either ten times zoom or a five times zoom and uh, it will be very interesting to see this and this is the back side the back cameras as you can see here the same layout the same um, as on the mate 30 pro you can see here the um, flash and another sensor here uh, what some of us were speculating is that there might be something that Apple did in their um, iPads. They had added a LiDAR sensor, which is kind of a radar sensor that can um, project, this is for, for example, used for AR effects to, to get a depth of field map of the whole room. And uh, I don't see it here, or it is hidden under one of those uh, camera lenses. So this is the backside, which is very interesting. The front, we will see also a slight uh, change. It is a big change also in comparison to the P40 Pro. The P40 Pro also had this um, pill-shaped uh, cutout or punch hole, however you would like to call it, but it was way bigger than this, what we can see here on the renders. And what we can see here, two camera sensors. So I hope we will see like a uh, normal wide angle camera and an ultra wide angle camera as well here and in between there will be some uh, 3d face scanning so that the 3d face scanning really got a bit smaller than here on the mate 30 pro so this is why one of the reasons why the mate 30 pro has such a big um, uh, bump what we don't see is on the mate 30 pro you can see basically three eyes here on the mate 30 pro just like uh, the two camera sensors and something in the middle we don't see that in this renders here let me scroll down a bit to see you uh, to, to to show you a little bit more of this so this is like a cutout of this basically a different color here in black and what we can also see here is in comparison to the mate 30 pro which had like a very uh very strong waterfall display we will not see such a strong waterfall display so it will cut out a little bit earlier so it has enough room still for the power button which will be slightly a bit higher i think and also the volume rocker is back again and uh, yeah i think as many were criticizing this uh, software feature for volume rockers i think it was uh, and i've also predicted it i think in the last video that it will come back here the volume rocker and I think it's a good sign that we can see the vo volume rocker because quickly starting the camera, for example, with the volume uh, pressed down uh, two times is, I think, very important for many of us. And I think the volume rocker, it doesn't make sense to have a power button and no volume rocker there. So it is, I think, a good sign that they added the volume rocker back again. And here you can see also a larger mm, image again of the phone itself. Interestingly enough, also the colors. So you can see a white and um, black color 
I wonder if this is vegan leather again or if they are using some kind of frosted, really frosted gr uh, glass or something like this, uh, like on the P40 Pro. Everyone liked the frosted glass. Uh, or is it like a grippy um, here? It looks a little bit like a uh, ceramic maybe because it's like you can see like there is some reflection going on. So mm, we will see. But one good thing is like that the curve is not so high here on uh, this screen, unlike on the P uh, on the Mate 30 Pro where uh, I have to say I dropped it and there's a little, 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 little stint here. And you can see that I dropped it even with the case on. It is very hard uh to not break the screen or to damage the screen because it's so curved all around this uh phone and you don't have this on the mate 40 pro apparently at least not so extreme which would be a cool feature uh, like i s thought in the rumors there are some um rumors that say it's even more curved and we can see it even on the back but i think maybe it was some prototype they tested and it was not very well received by the testers so they ditched this and yeah this is the mate 40 pro design and now we come to the mate 40 design as you can see here almost the same design we have like free camera uh, cameras on the back i don't see um is there another camera this doesn't look like another camera here on the mate 40 um, could be that it's just a sensor, a time of light sensor or something like this and not really a periscope uh, camera just like on the Mate th uh, 40 Pro. And uh, what we can see also it is not as curved and you can see here yes we don't get a curved screen we only get a flat screen just like on the Mate 30 which I think is also pretty nice. I really really I really really wonder it would be very nice if I could get the same hardware as in the Mate 40 Pro in the Mate 40 just with a flat screen. Uh, Huawei, this would be uh, awesome if you can do this. The other thing is like there are some rumors going on and this is why we don't know if there might be something else like the Mate 40 Pro Plus and those pictures could indicate that we can see the Mate 40 Pro Plus eventually here which has like the 10 times uh, optical zoom and um, five times or three times, no, three, three times um, optical zoom as well. And there will be a Mate 40 Pro normal version that only comes with a periscope um, three uh, five times zoom and will have instead of a three times zoom on the Pro Plus, it will have like uh, a LiDAR sensor on. I'm not sure. We will see when this will be released. But this are these are the two new uh, images leaked and renders. So someone might have saw those uh, two phones already in the wild and uh, created those renders. I think they look pretty nice. I hope we really get also like the, the vegan leather version because I really, really like it. I don't have it on my. I just have this ugly plastic case that comes with. Uh, I will have to, I think, uh, get a nice new case for, for my Mate 30 Pro. Uh, but what do you think about this new renders? Um, are you happy about the volume key being back? Uh, would be very interesting to know for me. And uh, yeah, this is pretty much everything for <laughs> this little video. I hope you enjoyed it. And uh, thanks for watching. Like, subscribe, ask questions. Um, uh, put your opinions down in the comment section. And also don't forget to tick the, mm, uh, the clock. Otherwise you don't get eventually new videos about me and also you can find me on patreon now so if you want to support me uh, just uh, click on the link in the description and you can um, help me uh, growing this uh, youtube channel here and uh, also subscribe if you are not su subscribed already that's everything for this video uh, thanks for watching until the next time bye